Terry Trumpus, Leaping Lake with Modal Interchange. <laughs> This lick, which I've called Terry Trumpus, is definitely one of my favorites in the series so far. It uses a lot of big spread out leaps and arpeggios to, similarly to the first video in this series, uh, it creates a, a melody that's also got a lot of harmony implied in it. So it, you can hear the chords even when you're just playing the melody. <laughs> all those chords in the melody. So what are those chords? Well first we have a C major 7 with this huge leap. C to B, that's the 8th fret low E string to the 9th fret D string, and then the pinky plays 12th fret E string. That was so tough for me for so long. And you alternate pick those. And that's just an exercise in itself, being able to skip those strings took, took me a lot of work. And then you pull off to the 7th fret of the high E string, which is a nice stretch for you. And then you hammer on to the 8th fret on the E string. And there's a nice C major 7 arpeggio. But there's more! Then we, we slide up to a G which also fits in a C major 7 arpeggio because the notes in a C major 7 arpeggio are C, E, G, and B. And so we're playing our C's and our B's and our E's here, but we don't have a G till we slide up here. So there's our G. And then it goes to F sharp, which is for C major 7. That's the sharp 11, which makes it a Lydian sound. Da, 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 da. Nice Lydian sound. So we're in the mode of Lydian, C Lydian here, and we get up to this F sharp that really drives the Lydian sound home. And then that F sharp happens to also be shared with a D major chord. So in a D major chord, F sharp's the third. For a C major chord, it's the sharp 11. F sharp is the sharp 11 relative to C, but it's the major third relative to D. So we are able to do this D major arpeggio right here very smoothly. And so this really puts us nicely in the key of G major, because every note so far has been in the key of G major. But then we slide to this B flat major chord. So B flat major doesn't fit in the key of G major, but it fits in the key of G minor. So what we've done is we've actually borrowed a chord from G minor just for a moment, and that's called modal interchange. That's our moment of modal interchange, and then we're right back into the key again. So after that moment of modal interchange with the B flat chord, we go to an A minor arpeggio. And that's back in the key of G major again. And then it goes to this B minor 7 arpeggio. But here, we slide up to, and then play down, a B flat major 7 arpeggio. So that's that B flat chord again, which is borrowed from G minor. So there's another modal, modal interchange. And we're back in G major again. I'll show you the chords that are in G major and then the chords that are modal interchange. So this is in G major, C major 7, sharp 11, then a D major. Now here's some modal interchange, B flat major, which is a borrowed chord from G minor. Then we're here at an A minor chord, which is in the key of G major, and a B 
minor 7, which is in the key of G major. But here, I'm going to a B flat major 7, which is in the key of G minor. 